The federal government has created numerous programs to help small and disadvantaged businesses compete in the federal procurement process, win federal government contracts, and grow their companies. However, not all small businesses know what these programs are or how to take advantage of them because of some of the common misconceptions associated with these programs. So here are the top three myths about small business assistance programs in government contracting. Mm -hmm. Participating in a program is a guaranteed ticket to contracting success. Many small business owners wrongly believe that once they have their 8A or HUBZone certification, federal contracts will simply fall in their laps. This is absolutely false. Certifying in programs like these is essentially like the weigh-in before the fight. It would be really tough for a featherweight to beat a heavyweight in a boxing match, so fighters need to weigh in and fight against competitors of their own size. That is essentially what the programs for small and disadvantaged businesses do. They allow for the possibility of competing only against other small or disadvantaged businesses so that your company is in a fair fight for contracts. But you still need to get in there and fight. You have to market yourself as a solution to an agency's problem, show the value you'll add, and differentiate yourself from your competitors if you want to win contracts. Myth number two, contracts are automatically set aside for small businesses or other program groups. Another big misconception that many small business owners have is that contracts are set aside for certain groups automatically. In reality, in order for a particular contract to be a small business set aside, the contracting officer needs to know that there are at least two small businesses that can complete the contract. Therefore, small businesses must respond to sources sought requests so that the rule of two can be followed. When two small businesses or more respond to a sources sought, it will be set aside for small business. However, if no small businesses reply, then the contract will go to full and open competition and you'll have to compete against the big guys. Myth number three, government contracting is right for all small businesses. Many small business owners, especially in the DC metropolitan area, jump into the pursuit of federal government contracting wrongly thinking it will be the answer to their company's ills. But government contracting isn't right for all companies. It is very time consuming and expensive to get a contract due to the sales, marketing, and compliance needs that it creates. Before you get in too deep, make sure that you perform a realistic analysis of your company's capabilities, place within the market, and resources to be certain that government contracting is right for you. Hopefully, clearing up these myths has given you a better idea of whether utilizing some of the small business programs to go after federal government contracts is the right decision for your business. For more tips for your new venture, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Mm -hmm.